was two and a half when she started playing the piano. She is uh, on the, the autism spectrum, uh, very mild autism, what they really refer to as Asperger's syndrome, uh, but she's also a musical savant, and the statistics say that Kerr is one of a hundred musical savants around the world. Her ability to be able to hear any piece of music and to play it back is absolutely incredible. Playing the piano takes patience, talent, and a lot of practice, but there is one important thing pianists often take for granted, eyesight. Not only is 26-year-old Kara Shaw autistic, but she was born completely blind. Being raised in a musical family, however, she didn't let that hold her back. I played pomp and circumstance from my own kindergarten graduation, and then when I was six, I played for my kindergarten teacher's wedding. The piano made sound and that kept her attention so that I could keep her attention longer while I tried to figure out if she could see the keys. I don't think she ever saw them, but it didn't take long for her to learn how to play. A flat. Okay. The tom? The uh, small tom? It's an A. Okay. It's an F sharp. Okay. I like playing piano because it's, because uh, it sounds angelic. It makes me feel happy, and it gets like a stress reliever. What are you saying? Uh, What's the point of dreams? One of them. A whole new world. She was fascinated with chords, and her hands were so tiny she could couldn't play a triad with one hand. It took two hands. And so she would play the chords with both hands and she would sing the melody. And when she got better, um, she would try to get no, more notes and if she couldn't reach them, she would play with her elbows or she'd get her feet up on the keyboard and she would be playing feet and hands to get the notes that she, she wanted to get. She would do whatever it took to get the sound she wanted. After having three healthy boys and then a daughter born with cystic fibrosis, Dave and Linda Shaw decided that they couldn't risk having another child, so they went to Children's Aid to adopt one with special needs. There she is, born at 23 weeks. They told my birth mom, Stacy, that if I didn't respond within 48 hours, they were going to basically let me go. You know, have me, well, let me die kind of thing. When they phoned and said they had Kara, she was premature and she was blind, and that was all I knew, but I knew that that was the baby. I just, just right away it felt right. She is a, so was born, you know, at 23 weeks and so tiny, and yet her spirit is so large. <laughs> yep. This is a scene from Breaking Bad. Kara just has a different way of looking at life. It's, it's, um, just it's, it's simple, it makes perfect sense, and I think we all need to learn to live like Kara does. She's always up. Kara is always, always up. Love having her part of the show, her positive energy, and, and just, um, she just adds to it. And I, I just love the fact when I come up behind her, she knows it's me. <laughs> I don't have to say a word. It's a crazy family. Five kids, and they all play musical instruments, but three of them doing it professionally. So. I figured if I didn't give my kids anything else, I gave them music. <laughs>